A Hero Academia, or Boku no Hero Academia if you're annoying, takes place in a world where people have superpowers called quirks. Some people get cool quirks that make them unkillable gods, while others get quirks that turn their head into a cactus. The main character is Deku Scrub. His quirk is not having any powers. Deku wants to be a hero, but he's quirkless, so the other kids in class like Bakugan make fun of him and tell him to kill himself. They seem like real good candidates for the hero program. One day, Deku meets his idol, All Might, and he's like, Hey kid, eat this hair. It'll give you superpowers, but don't tell nobody. And he inherits All Might's quirk, but it's so powerful that it nearly makes him explode every time he uses it. Can All Might and Small Might overcome the hurdles to get Deku admitted to the number one hero academy? They sure can, and it'll be so awesome that you won't even notice how it makes absolutely no sense the rest of his classmates pass the exam with their totally irrelevant power sets. Well, Miss Hagakure, I'm afraid we can't pass you. After all, you didn't destroy a single robot. You can't prove I wasn't the one killing all those robots. Shit, you right. love with an ensemble cast of characters with such likable designs and personalities that people forget they're 15 and it's really creepy to sexualize them, please stop. Meet Deku's friends from Class 1A, Interplanet Janet, Initial D, Slip and Slide, Easy Make Oven, All Frogs Go to Heaven, Gunpowder Gelatine, Dynamite with a Laser Beam, Caught on Tape, Not on Tape, Tetsu 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 Tetsu, Two Birds One Hero, Animal Crossing. Damn it, how do these things always get so tangled? That's rough, buddy. Oh, uh... Ew. Soda, OJ, purple stuff, and two kinds of Sunny D. Now time to introduce Class 1B. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they don't matter. Follow Class 1A through all their adventures, like the time the League of Villains shows up, the time the League of Villains shows up, and the time the League of Villains shows up. Huh. Can they defeat dastardly villains like Bad Touch Man and this girl who looks like she's on the verge of climaxing? Not to mention the raw excitement that is teenagers decorating their dorm rooms and the unparalleled drama of unpaid internships. Every arc focuses on a different aspect of hero society and how maybe they shouldn't keep giving UA millions of dollars to build these fake cities as training grounds, especially if the school keeps killing the children. Say, have those two characters shared a single frame of screen time together, ship them! Ship them, ship those, ship everyone! Everyone should kiss everyone, except the one who wants to kiss everyone, he shouldn't kiss anyone. Bad Touch probably also shouldn't kiss anyone, because his lips seem pretty chapped. Not a lot has actually happened in My Hero Academia, but the pacing's so good and it's so well executed that it keeps you interested regardless, and you can't deny how fun it is to imagine your own superhero with their own unique quirk. The persnickety hero, Typo! His quirk, nitpick! Actually, the author has confirmed how several of the students pass the entrance exam, even without flashy quirks, such as Mineta gunking up the robots with his sticky balls. His weakness? Not having friends! 